As we've been reporting, flood water is creating emergencies in river towns all across the region. Hundreds of people were forced to leave their homes in South St. Louis County today after flood water cut off power to the Cedar Creek Lodge apartments. We begin our team coverage with Brandon Murano. He is live near River to Pear Boulevard with more. Brandon, what's going on? Okay, so this is the problem. Flood water has made its way into the Cedar Creek apartment parking lot and it's forcing hundreds of people to find other places to stay today. I talked to a spokesperson with the St. Louis County Emergency Management Agency and they tell me it could be weeks before people living here will be able to move back in. Rising flood water in St. Louis County has hundreds of people packing up and looking for a place to go. I've only lived here since December. Now, Lena Word is looking for a new place to live. I don't want to be here. It's not safe. Clearly, this is not safe. The power is not even working. It's not safe. Rising water not only cut off her power and put her out of her apartment. I'm probably going to go to uh, my family's house. Yeah, I'm going to go to family. It flooded her car, leaving her with no way to get around. I don't think it's completely totaled. I think I can save it, so that's what I'm doing now, so. She's not alone. Hundreds of people in four other buildings in the Cedar Creek Lodge apartments can relate, and not all of them have family to stay with. And it's still unclear when they'll be able to move back in. And it depends upon the, uh, the damage within the buildings themselves and, and whether or not they have other open units where they can move people to, or, you know, I ju I'm just not sure that status at this point. I mean, we could be talking weeks. We could be if there's a lot of damage within the units that people live in, then obviously they won't be able to move right back in. Meantime, Lena will be looking for a place to stay and a way to fix her car. I just have to get another job. I have to keep going. I don't have a choice. So what's done is done. And if it can be fixed, then you fix it. The river is expected to crest on Thursday, so that means this water is only going to get higher before it goes down. And there is a shuttle running right now to the Kennedy Center rec complex. It's running right down the street, runs till 7 o'clock. That's where a temporary shelter has been set up for those people that were put out of their apartments today. And the Red Cross has also been called in. For now, live in South County, Brandon Morano, 5 on your side.